Give me my hand. A heated press conference with heavyweight fighter Trevor Burbeck turns violent when opponent Larry Holmes picks a fight outside the ring. And recently, former Mississippi Governor Kirk Fordyce lost his temper when a reporter showed up for an unscheduled interview. I'll whip your have no damn fitness playing these games. Often, what starts out as calm, controlled photo opportunities turn ugly. Get the camera up. Like when pop singer Bjork went berserk, arriving for a tour of Thailand. <laughs> Unexpected confrontations make for great TV moments. The more outrageous, the better. Time Magazine TV critic James Ponawazic. It's sort of like a car wreck. It just makes amazing viewing. The audience at a German talk show was in for some amazing viewing during an interview with Daniel Ducroix, the ex-husband of Monaco's Princess Stephanie. What Daniel didn't know was that the stripper he cheated on Stephanie with was waiting in the wings, and he didn't take it sitting down. It's always uncomfortable when confrontations happen on usually calm celebrity talk shows. Years ago, on the Mike Douglas show, comedy legends Milton Berle and Richard Pryor went at it after Pryor laughed while Berle was telling a serious story about having a child out of wedlock. So she first consented to <coughs> not have a baby, <laughs> have an abortion. What is I'm sorry, man, but just, I just, I just did it. Just didn't. <laughs> I wish. I wish, Richard, that I could have laughed at that time at your age, when I was your age, the way you just laugh now, but I just couldn't. I told you this nine years ago, and I'm going to tell you on the air in front of millions of people. Pick your spots, baby. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> Pick your spots. Mm -hmm. Things got even more out of hand on the David Letterman show when the late comedian Andy Kaufman got into a screaming match with wrestler Jerry Lawler. I will sue you for everything you have. I will sue you. You're a It's still up for debate whether that confrontation was real or staged. But it was no stunt when quirky Back to the Future star Crispin Glover freaked out on Dave. Do you want to arm my no. I'm taking, you know, I've taken part. These aren't mine. I can, I can, I can kick. Glover was kicked off the show during the commercial break. He came very close to denting my head. That is not how I want my life ended. Poor Dave had another uppity guest in Madonna, who decided to curse a record 13 times. You are always me on the show. You are always me on the show. This but you could really cut the tension with a knife when Tom Selleck appeared on the Rosie O'Donnell show. Rosie didn't approve of Selleck posing for ads for the National Rifle Association. You read the ads? I have read the ads. Good. Did you read the ads? I, I said them. I read what I said. Okay, well, I do too. A lot of people jumped on Rosie O'Donnell for jumping on Tom Selleck, and Tom Selleck really seemed kind of lost and unprepared. But few celebrity appearances get as physical as when Burt Reynolds was on The Tonight Show with then Nickelodeon host Mark Summers. It was the time where his financial situation was not good. Uh, Lonnie Anderson and he were divorcing. From the beginnings, Burt seemed to be looking for trouble. I just say that because your back is to me, and I, I, I was just talking to a back. Good morning, I'm still married, as a matter of fact. Yes, well, you are. But things got worse when Mark tried to get Burt back. I thought he had knocked my tooth out. I had no idea what was going on. Eventually, Mark did get revenge. There we go. And the audience loved it. They stood up. They absolutely stood up because they were not happy with him that night. They thought he was mistreating me. It all ended with a pie fight. Now, he hugs me here and he whispers in my ear, I only did that because I really like you. I had no idea what that meant at the time. It was great television, though. And watch out when interviewing a hot-headed athlete, as ESPN's Jim Rome found out after teasing quarterback Jim Everett, calling him female tennis player Chrissy Everett. You, you probably won't say it again. I bet I do. Okay. Chris? Some say Rome got what he deserved.
the guy's really baiting Everett. And many think NBC sports reporter Jim Gray was out of line with his confrontational interview with Pete Rose. During a ceremony honoring Rose at last fall's World Series, Gray hammered him about the gambling allegations against the suspended legend. Yeah, I'm surprised you're, 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 you're bombarding me like this. I mean, I'm doing an interview with you on a great night, a great occasion, uh, a great ovation. Everybody seems to be in a good mood, and you're bringing up something that happened 10 years ago. But no one found New York sportscaster Russ Salzberg at fault with his interview with a rude Mike Tyson. Well, f it. It's a fight, so whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. You have a problem, turn off your station. It becomes insulting both to me and to the viewer. So enough was enough. I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. F off. Class act, buddy. This is kind of par with uh, his behavior. Don't forget, this is a guy who bit somebody's ear off in a ring. During Inside Edition's decade on the air, We've had our own share of confrontational interviews. Really Don't tell me what I'm saying. You want to ask me what I'm saying, I'll tell you what I'm saying. Don't tell me what I'm saying, all right? It was during our very first season that we had one of our most astonishing moments with talk show host Morton Downey Jr. When we approached Downey to ask about his business dealings, this was a response. Away from you. 